Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the prior video, we learned how to read PDF documents and I also demonstrated how to extract table from PDF file without PDF Reader or Acrobat API. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use text stream with the file system object to read the values field in PDF form. This is the sample PDF form that we'll be using for demonstration purpose. So as you can see here, uh, all these fields, date, string, and all these number data type fields that you can see here are the values that we are trying to extract, okay? Now I'm gonna close this. And going back to where we left off earlier, so let me, let me try and run this code one time. Uh, so this code is not related, but I just want to demonstrate one thing very quickly, okay? So this code is working. Um, the code that we use to extract table and read the file without um, Acrobat or PDF Reader. Now let me update the path here or I'll construct a new one. Now if I try to read this uh, this file using the same code um, and see if it works. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Let's set the word application to true. And let me run this. So it did load up the file. As you can see here, it tried to print something, but it could not read anything using the word. Um, if I go here, you can see that um, there are labels in the form of shapes. So if I go back here and try to dot shapes dot count, it tells me that there is one shape over there. Here, probably this is the one that it counted as a shape. So we can use shape as well to loop through because these are again these are just labels, so it it's of no use for us in this uh, matter. So uh, I played around in this fashion and this uh, method is not going to work for us. Okay, so um, what I did was um, I tried to open this file um, inventory. Let me make a copy of this. I tried to open up this in text and try to find the values. For example, there was a date value that I remember. So I tried to find 12-12-2019. Uh, I couldn't find... So there's, uh, it's not in a, you know, like readable way, but you can guess that there is a data in the text stream that uh, we can use the code to manipulate this string and then get the value. So as you can see here, it might be a bit tiny for you, but here basically um, there's like a, a string that we can use to identify the values. So it's a bit consistent here, DD, uh, and then it opens up the bracket and then there is a value in there. Similarly, TD12 and then 120 and all this, okay? So what I did, I tried the same thing in uh, Notepad++. It's more, uh, you know, like better to view in this uh, Notepad++. So here you can see, um, this is how the text stream is gonna read uh, these bytes of data in when we write the code. So um, this is what we're looking for. For example, here, um, here's TD and then the bracket starts and then TJ, right? Bracket close TJ. So this is where the value that we're looking for is located. So similarly, if you scroll up here, you'll see NY is there. Um, and then if you go up further, you'll see here another value. Okay, so uh, let me quickly demonstrate write a small code to show you how to uh, read this and get that data. Let's uh, write a new code for this. Let me change the name here. Now let's call this uh, read PDF form values. Now, before we start writing the code, we'll have to add a reference to Microsoft uh, Scripting Runtime. 
think I have to scroll. Okay, so make sure you check this Microsoft scripting runtime. We'll use early binding. Okay, so let's start off with file system object as new file system object. And then now we can uh, maybe call this text stream, something like this, as um, text stream. Okay, and now let's um, open up this file first. FSO dot and then here open text file and we can put in the file name here and then we'll open this for reading this uh, I'll explain in a bit and then let's do nothing Now let's look through all the text using um, read line method. Okay, so let me copy this and then do while and then end of stream and then we'll say loop. Now let's say dim um, maybe v line as string. Try to print this out. Let me just try to clear this off and stop here. So as you can see, it started to print the data. So it's able to read it. Like we saw it in the Notepad Plus Plus, okay? Now we'll just let it run through. Okay, now let's try to filter out the data that we need um, by finding out the key again. So here's another example, uh, again the example in the line. It starts with the bracket and then ends with close bracket space and then there's a TJ. So let me just copy this line or this string, let's call this, and then I'm going to go back. Let's call this um, V key or, yep. That should be S string. This will be our key, and V variable key is gonna be this. And now, well, this loops through. We can check if this particular V line has this particular value. Okay. Um, if in string, and then V line has this particular string, then we want to print it. And let me stop this. So there are our values. I'm gonna let it run through now. Okay. So these are the values that we want to print it out, but it seems to be coming up in um, in a different order that we want. So here the date is first, and this particular value is last, right? So here date is coming last and the value that is at the bottom is coming first. Okay, this value. So now what I'm gonna do, um, we'll trim up this value, uh, the bracket open and this, and then at the same time we'll store this in array and then we will uh, make the order to come out correctly, okay? Now let's first try and get rid of uh, the bracket, this bracket first, and then we'll take care of this part in a second. So we line, uh, we can use write function, and then from here we just want one less character. Okay, so we want all this len of this minus one will return us the right part of it. Also, this part it will return us this. Okay, and then here we can say um, we can use replace we'll replace this value okay or we can say key we can say replace and then v line and we want to find this key and then replace with a blank starting 
position of one. Okay. Now if I try to print this value again, so here you can see it has gone, uh, the bracket open is gone, and this our key has been replaced. Okay. Now uh, we can also copy this and you know I put it together like that. that oral code is sorter okay now let's try and print these values uh, in the other way around uh, by storing this in array first and then we'll print out the values from array in another order okay so let's call this uh, field list as variant and then once it gets here um, Here we can redeem and preserve this starting from 0 to and then the index. Let's declare one index here as well. Index as long or integer is fine. This. Okay, so when it is here um, this is going to be 0 to 0 so the index will start from 0 and after printing it will increment the array index to 1 ok and then we can assign a value here Now let's stop here once the loop is over. And if I go to these are our field list and then as you can see the same values that we printed out here is now stored in the memory in this in this fashion. So you can see like in 17 we can see the date and our last field is in the top. Okay, so now we can um, loop through this array and print it out in another order. So we'll say, let's run through this first. This basically is for looping through the array. And then go to, so we'll loop from uh, top to bottom so upper bound of this field list array to a uh, lower bound of this step minus one and we can print this index here Okay, let's run again. Okay, so now the data is in the top and then the values are coming up in the order.